something in me Dark and sticky All the blinds get strong With a demon With this feeling I can't go on like this too long This time you've gone too far Stay with me, I need support Digging in the dirt To find the places I've got her Open up the places I've got her I got her Get so blind. I feel it in my head. I feel it in my toes. I feel it in my sex. That the goes. This time you've gone too far. This time you've gone too far. This time you've gone too far.
Hi, everybody. I'm called Chris. I'm in a band called Coldplay. And, uh... <laughs> I'm very thrilled to be here to induct Peter Gabriel into the Hall of Fame. I, um, I didn't know how to start my speech, so I remember that as a kid, my mum said, always turn to the Bible for guidance. And so with that, I'd like to read to you from the book of Genesis, if that's okay. <clears throat> this is serious. It came to pass at that time that an angel of the Lord descended and appeared before Phil the Collins. <laughs> and Phil the Collins said unto him, Who are you, O angel? And the angel replied, I am Gabriel. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm Gabriel. I bring you this good news. I am going solo. Ye, ye shall be the singer of Genesis now. And the Phil who was called Collins was awestruck in the presence of the voice of the angel and replied, how can this be, O oh angel? I am but a humble drummer. I can't dance, I can't talk. The only thing about me is the way I walk. The angel replied, Phil of Collins, the Lord has spoken, have faith. Ye could lay down a steam, no, ye could have a steam train if you just lay down the tracks. Now hasten to the st st studio. And, well, it's, it's a little too far. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and with that, and with that, and with that, the angel Gabriel ascended up Salisbury Hill and was taken up into the Hall of Fame and lo, a miracle had occurred. And, that, and that's a true story. And so there we go. Um, I personally started to love Peter Gabriel's music in 1993 when I was a schoolboy and I went to Paris and bought the album Us on a cassette tape, which those of you over 70 will remember. Um, I put it in my Walkman and I tried to walk back to where I was staying, but I went the wrong way and got lost for a day in Paris with just me and that album. And I fell in love with it and eventually got picked up by the police. <laughs> but I was a true fan. And so uh, after that, I learned as much as I could about him. This was pre-Wikipedia, so it was a lot harder. Um, after leaving Genesis, Peter uh, recorded a number of albums, starting with Peter Gabriel, the self-titled album. He followed that, thank you. Um, he followed that with Peter Gabriel, the self-titled album. And then followed that with the unforgettable Peter Gabriel, the eponymous album. And its follow-up, Peter Gabriel. His label said, Peter, is there any way you would give us another title? They've all got the same one. And like a petulant te he, teenager, like a petulant teenager, he said, so? And they said, that's perfect. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and, um, and uh, he said that, and they said, that's perfect. And he turned into a superstar, just with two little letters. I wish it was that easy for the rest of us. Uh, he did two week long video shoots, which every front man will tell you is a heroic effort, uh, you know, put in perspective. And um, please, could you scroll a little faster? Thank you. Although I did write this, I promise. I wrote it yesterday. But they said I had to put it on the thing. I also have it here, look. I did, I, did, I promise. Okay. Um, and uh, so, they, that was heroic. After that, he continued to write brilliant songs. There's too many to mention. My favorites are Biko, Salisbury Hill, In Your Eyes, and uh, The Washing of the Water is my favorite. Um, in the years since, uh, so, he's given us us and up and scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, new blood, uh, many soundtracks, Birdie, The Last Temptation of Christ, and Ovo. Um, at times it feels like he releases music at a snail's pace. Um, but one, this, I say this in seriousness, looks back now and sees this amazing cathedral of song. And uh, it was worth the effort and the time it took. Why do people like me? Yeah.
Yeah. I was thinking uh, on the airplane, why do Peter Gabriel fans like myself love his music? It's, of course, his voice, uh, his powerful and hard-hitting lyrics, sometimes protesting, like in Biko, sometimes reassuring, like in Don't Give Up, and sometimes just based on powerful construction tools, like Sledgehammer. <laughs> and uh, he, he brings together sounds from all over the world. His ears are global. He's brought us great, he's brought to, to our attention great artists like Yusin Adore and the wonderful drummer Manu Kache, who we're going to see tonight. He's always been an innovator and a seeker. He was at the forefront of the digital revolution. He started a great label and studio called Real World, and uh, he's found gems from all over the world to share with us. He's a curator and an inspirer. He helped John Cusack get his girlfriend back in the movie Say Anything. <laughs> like that. Um, what else might you not know? He's repopularized the goatee. He's very funny. He's deeply conscientious, he's a humanitarian, he plays the flute, he used to shave his head just on the top, which is brave by anyone's standards. <laughs> he comes from the beautiful West Country of England, like I do, uh, where he pioneered the school of dance called uh, English Unchoreographed, uh, which I'm a proud graduate of, along with Tom York. It, it means that you just do what you like and don't mind if you look silly. And thank you, Peter, for giving us that gift. I feel so grateful that I found that cassette tape 21 years ago. And it's uh, any time of the, the, the week, I would happily get lost with his music. Uh, it's my great honor and pleasure to induct into the Hall of Fame, Peter Gabriel. Chris has been working uh, as a stand-up comic, uh, but... Well, thank you so much for uh, those kind words. It means, it means a great deal that uh, you're doing this for me. Thank you. He's a great songwriter here. I also wanted to acknowledge a much uh, appreciated, many times nominated, but not yet inducted uh, musician I had up on the stage with me, Leon uh, Nocentelli from The Meters. <clears throat> so I saved up all my pocket money to buy my first beaten up old Tom Tom. I think it was about seven pounds it cost me. And to hold this thing in my hands was a key to another world. And I had no idea then that it might lead me uh, here today. I never actually made it as a drummer. I was full of enthusiasm, but not a whole lot of talent. But I snuck in here anyway. So I would say to all those people now at the start of that journey, but if you're exploring making music, and looking at us old timers getting our decorations, I'd say two things. Dream big and let your imagination guide you, even if you end up dressing as a flower or a sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> they, they may think it's a little strange, they may laugh at you, but just do it. And secondly, surround yourself with brilliance. The brilliance of those you love being around and the brilliance of their talent. I've worked with so many amazing people through these years and uh, you can see from the musicians I have on the stage with me, I'm surrounded by great, and have always been, by great musicians, um, including some of the world's greatest drummers, which as an aspiring drummer, has been a real thrill. Uh, but particularly from the beginning of my uh, solo work, you know, 
uh, a man who sadly couldn't be with me tonight, but um, has been deputized by the legendary Pino Palladino, but Tony Levin, I want to mention. David, David Rhodes has been with me in the album process for so long too, on the guitar. Uh, we've got the amazing Mano Cache and David Sanctius here tonight. We borrowed Nino Sinalu. And we have a wonderful vocalist, Jenny Abrahamson, who's been out touring with me. I also have had the great fortune to work with extraordinary engineers and producers, because they can make you sound good, and they give you a boot up the backside when you need it, and make sure they squeeze as much juice out of you as, uh, as you can get. I've got an extraordinarily dedicated and loyal group of people who represent me and have worked with me for many years in the management team, agents, record company folk, and all the many talented folk that it takes to put a, a tour together. Uh, we have had for years and years an extraordinary crew who will do anything to get our show up and running and uh, whatever it takes. But <clears throat> So to all those people, I, I definitely wouldn't be here without all of the work you've done, and I really appreciate it. But in the end, the core of what you are and where you are is where your heart is. And, and I, it's those who you love um, and who love you. So I want to thank especially my dad for teaching me about the power of ideas, imagination, and science. <clears throat> my mom who taught me about music and compassion. My amazing kids, two of whom are here tonight, the others are in the business of having babies, or grandchildren for me, but they inspire, inspire me and make me very proud. And, and I now have two grandchildren. And most of all, the person who has to suffer the most uh, for the life that I've chosen, my incredible wife, Maeve, who's given me an extraordinary life. I love you so much. Watch out for music. It should come with a health warning. It can be dangerous. It can make you feel so alive, so connected to the people all around you, and connected to what you really are inside. And it can make you think that the world should and could be a much better place. And just occasionally, it can make you very, very happy. Thank you so much. a great deal, thank you.
I thought that I could get along But here in this water My feet won't touch the ground I need something to turn myself around Going away When to on the sea And I'm delighted to see that a very old friend has flown in from Africa, from Senegal. In fact, he is the unofficial king of Senegal, Mr. Yusu Ndor.
it's in your eyes Mr. David Sanchez Thank you so much. You've given us a great start. I appreciate it. <laughs> 